Dear sewing friends, today we are sewing this lovely sweatshirt for your little angels. And the first question that I usually get is, Elisa, how do I work with such small pattern pieces? And are there any special tips and tricks that I need to know when sewing for babies? Well, about all of this in this video, so let's get started. And right off the bat, I have a little bonus for you. The pattern that we're going to be using for this sweatshirt today is actually a free sewing pattern by Brindalyn Twig. It's Ranger T, and it's one of my favorite free sewing patterns for babies. And I will leave the link for it in the info box below, so that way you can download it at the end of this video. Now let's get started with your materials and your fabric. As it goes for the fabric, you definitely want some fabric with stretch. You want to go for knit, you want to go for jersey, you want to go for sweatshirting, anything that has a very nice considerable stretch. For this project, you can either use a sewing machine or a serger. Now, if you're using a sewing machine, just make sure that you choose appropriate needles. And usually those would be marked as jersey needles, as ballpoint needles, or as stretch fabric needles. It just really depends on the type of fabric that you're going to be using. Now, to prepare for sewing, super simple, just print out the free sewing pattern and the link you will find in the info box below. And then the instructions that come with it are actually really, really good, so definitely use them as a reference point for this whole process. The next step is super simple. Just cut out your pattern pieces and transfer all of the notches and all of the markings as necessary, just like you would do on any other sewing project. The pattern pieces for baby garments are so small, so the number one thing that you want to do is find the most logical way of constructing your garment. This is the most crucial part of the process. So my baby girl is actually one, so the pattern pieces aren't that small anymore. <laughs> However, when you sew for newborns, for three, six month olds, and even nine month olds, some of the steps would be different. So for example, you might want to attach the cuff to the sleeve first and then sew it all together, just like you see on this ready to wear option. This is actually my work shirt, and you can tell that they attach the cuff first because it's sewn together so uneven. Now here I am attaching back to the front of the top, right sides facing, only the shoulder seams. After that, attach the sleeves using the flat method. Now sew the sleeves and bodice in a continuous line from the sleeve to the bottom of the bodice. Sew your cuff together, making sure that you pay attention to the direction of the stretch. Also, here's a little tip. Now, a lot of times I won't cut the cuff, the neckline, and the bottom band exactly to what the pattern calls for until I have actually tested how stretchy is the fabric because sometimes you need a little bit more and sometimes you need a little bit less. So definitely follow the pattern, but if you feel that your fabric definitely stretchier, then go with what your gut is telling you. Now you have to make a sandwich from a sleeve and the folded cuff just like that. If you make sure that the seams are actually facing opposite directions from each other, it will be a lot easier for you to make sure that they line up just like I did over here so it looks really nice and clean. Now is the time for a neckband. I usually make notches just on the neckband itself. On the actual bodice I mark the placement with a heat erasable or washable pen. I will leave those in the info box below for you guys, but it is totally my personal preference, but I do find it easier to sew that way as the bodice doesn't actually stretch out in the process. All right, awesome. It goes so well with the pants I made for her earlier and I'm super happy with the result. And that's it, you did it. Now your baby has a beautiful sweatshirt. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about free sewing patterns for your kids, definitely click this video that you see right now on your screen. Subscribe and love this video. And until next time, happy sewing, sew up a storm, and I will see you, my dear, in the next video. Bye.